Let us take a look at this match between Kang and Tiago from the fourth set with the score being 3 2. Until now, it's a usual attacker versus defender match. Apollonio has gotten used to Kang's defense style over the last three sets and is becoming increasingly confident about his attacks in this set. Kang seems to be a little flustered even missing the return of the service and in general none of the tactics that had been working until now seem to be working anymore. Apollonia has found his rhythm. Here you have a long rally even with a net ball but Apollonia just does not seem to be missing. At this point, with no timeouts left, almost out of desperation, Kang goes for an all-out attack. Thiago is not too worried. It's just one point, right? Okay, two. Kang is repeatedly taking the initiative to attack wherever he gets the chance. Heck, he's even going for multiple attacks in a row where needed. Now there's another zeal to Kang. It's not out of desperation, it almost as if he's somewhat in control. But just then. <laughs> and now, Kang takes the initiative right from the start in this point. He cannot risk Apollonia getting another net ball. And wow, against all odds, he's made it. It's 10 all. But wait, at this point, he again decides to go for a forehand defense instead of attacking. No more though. He attacks the remaining 3 points and manages to win this game. And wow, there you have it. Something that he started out of desperation led to him finding the strategy that would eventually win him this match. We won't really go into all the points in this match, but Tang does continue to attack a lot more in this match. He might miss, but he continues taking those chances. What's more interesting to note over here is that Apollonia suddenly starts missing a lot of his shots. He even misses the push. One of the main reasons being that now there is an added pressure to execute the attacks as fast as possible. Because if not, then Kang will capitalize on that moment and attack back. Earlier, there was no penalty for even slightly misreading Kang's spin as the ball was still on the table. But now, it's no longer enough to just land the ball on the table. And finally finishing it in style. Okay, that was it. I personally had a lot of fun watching this match and I think one key takeaway is that you have to have at least one stroke in your arsenal that is based on speed. Strategies that involve you getting a point from your opponent misreading your spin outright may work at first, but with the advent of technology, people can analyze and learn how to respond to those strategies. But being able to react to speed is something that is bound by the limitations of the human body, so you should have one set stroke at least, and if nothing else, it adds an extra pressure on your opponent to not mess up 
even in the slightest bit okay thanks for watching